there, internet. Magwai here, and I got another Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. And today, I'm gonna rant. I'm just gonna rant. I this is my 302nd Legends of Runeterra video on this YouTube channel. And while I am very happy with the game, I love the game, and I'm happy with the balance. Even though we are in a bit of a tough situation right now with a couple of weeks of enduring Twisted Fate Fizz, everything bad that happens as a solution. And overall, I do like the direction Riot is headed in, and I think uh, you know we have a promising future ahead of us. You know, what is the problem then? Like, what do I have to rant about? Well, it's not so much gameplay or art or anything like that. It's just a name. And I want to do this because I want to see if I'm the only one. I despise this game's name. I hate Legends of Runeterra. It pisses me off that I have to say this name every time, every video, because... Well, what could say because I can't pronounce it. But you know, let me actually argue here for a second. First of all, creatively, it is insipid. Right? Uh, you would think, wow, Rune Terra, that sounds exotic and interesting and mysterious. But no, it's just taking Rune and Terra. Rune, that means magic, and Terra from Earth. <laughs> Mixing the two works together. Wow, we got a fancy way of saying magic Earth, you know? Yeah. Lame, if you ask me. Also, also, it is unbelievably long, and as a word, and it just doesn't, it, it just doesn't feel good. And this is absolutely nothing to do with the fact that I'm a Spaniard and I have a really hard time pronouncing the double R in the word. Nothing. Irrelevant. It's a bad name. Agree with me. Let's have them change it. So I don't have like 47,000 bloopers in my hard drive. Because you guys don't know, I, I actually, <laughs> I retake my intros numerous times. Just for the first five seconds. Because the rest, you know, whatever I get, whatever I get. But I have to, like, restart recording, like, ten times every video because of this fucking name. All right, let's talk about today's deck. Today, I have a deck just for the 12-year-old edgelords watching. And... I guess other people as well. We are going to showcase Noxus and Ionia and something that's not new in this channel, but it is a new variant of the Yasuo Swain archetype, a pretty edgy, meme tier, some would say, archetype that's actually really decent in this meta. I believe this deck has a pretty solid matchup against the likes of Twist of Fate Fizz, uh, and this, I think actually we have a good matchup against it. And uh, we don't really, like, auto-lose against many things out there by any means like we have overall in the matchup spectrum we're pretty good as of now we, we are vulnerable to aggro but we are running a one-off of spirits refuge which automatically solves any matchup against aggro because we will always draw this card against them and we will always win thanks to it so that matchup is covered and then the rest you know things get a little bit complicated we have uh, some trundle lissandra but that's why having ionia with deny is really relevant right now and what i really like about this uh champion combination even though i have voiced uh you know i haven't been a fan of it forever right i got i i i thought it was weaker in the past but right now these two work well together because i believe swain kind of like helps yasuo against more late game threats as uh, the Swain Leviathan uh, late game can allow us to outmuscle some of these, you know, control decks. Especially combining Leviathan with Deny is really neat and does give Swain a possibility against, or a chance rather, against Shadow Owl's base control list. As we have a couple of copies of Intimidating Roar here, alongside a bunch of different sources for stun, and even some for recall as well, with Fade Blade Twirler as the core two drop of the deck with a couple of house spiders to help us out with early game tempo so that we don't get overridden by these uh fast-paced lists as we have of course a full set of arachnoid sentry in the new toy thorn of the rose which when is summoned creates a guile in hand this contributes towards our yasuo level up uh, enhances our fey blade twirler while also giving us a really Honestly, like a very legit body. Like there are certain matchups. Like for example, if you're not facing uh, a specific deck that has pings, like if, if you don't run into Piltover, a control version of Noxus, Bilgewater, and the likes, if you're facing like, for example, Targan, Demacia, uh, Fraujord, etc., this 5-1 stat line is very useful because it can allow us to train to some big stuff 
and just try to trade evenly into that. Like we can threaten stuff like Garen, for example, with this attack stat. So naturally, in in matchups against, for example, Shadow Owls, uh, this one health is going to make her a pretty big liability. But for the most part, this is a very neat stat line that uh, can really put in the work in, in certain matchups. And I'm I'm a big fan of this card. Not quite at the level of Arachnoid Sentry by any means, but pretty close. And definitely really need to have another uh, three mana resource to work for said Yasuo level up. One of the downsides of this deck is that leveling up Swain is a little bit more difficult, especially if we don't draw Yasuo. Yasuo helps us. Like if we have Yasuo on the board, leveling up Swain is actually really easy, especially if we go for like intimidating reward type of plays. But unfortunately, if we don't draw Yasuo, we do have access to Ravenous Flock. We do have a full set of Death's Hand, which is there because we want to be able to kill Twisted Fate upon entry. That's very important right now. I think I don't, I don't really think I have to explain too much as to why. This card also helps us work for Swain's level up alongside Ravenous Flock. But besides these two cards, we don't really have other ping effects, you know, unless we count the Leviathan. Which means that we really, really do need Yasuo to be drawn to be played to live for a little bit and help us in that regard but if not we can just wait a couple of turns and let the leviathan level up swain and then at that point we can just go on from there so ultimately yes leveling up swain is a little bit more difficult than usual in this deck but we have a lot of payoffs for him as we're even running a, a one-off of might which i'm back to running in swain decks i really really like this card in swain decks just because we can give it to level up swain and Omai will motion that ooh, the hell out of the opponent. So that is uh, the general idea with that. Homecoming also works really neat in this deck, allowing us to potentially recycle the likes of Cookers of Palm, Arachnoid Sentry, and even the likes of Thorn of the Rose. We have a one-off of Retreat, which can be used as a two-mana deny in a way that can also allow us to go for a return to get something like Thorn of the Rose onto the board and get another Guile in there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the deck list right there. Also, uh, Intimidating Roar, very important card. And Minotaur Reckoner is a 12 I really like as well. This card is perhaps one of the most impactful cards in the deck. I would argue is the most. Uh, ultimately, if we have Yasuo on the board and we're able to play Intimidating Roar in this meta, this card does a lot. Helps us level up uh, Yasuo quickly and also can... You know, with 9 mana, it can lead to some crazy plays. Like, we can combine Spirit's Refuge onto Yasuo with Intimidating Roar to get the board wipe plus a bunch of health back, right? So, yeah, I don't know. Yasuo is just really good fun, and I think he's in a decent spot right here. It's not like this deck is tier 1 by any means, but it is definitely... It can, it can fight. It can keep up with others, and I think uh, today's gameplay is uh, pretty solid. You know, I got some cool games, and I'm excited to share. So I'm going to stop talking. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for daily... Legends of Runeterra upload. I do post a new deck every single day. Legends of Runeterra, of course. So if you want to see more Legends of Runeterra content, then subscribe. And I promise you, I will keep the Legends of Runeterra videos going. Bye-bye. All right, so I forgot to click record, but here we are <laughs> in a game anyways. Like, I forgot to click record like a few seconds ago, but... Crisis adverted. We are facing Brom Vladimir, which is a deck that's becoming uh, more and more popular as of late. Uh, you know, we did post a video on it a couple of days back, and uh, it's getting some traction, which is really, really neat to see. I'm going to go ahead and drop pretty much everything, though, including Swain. Death's Hand is not that useful in this matchup. And uh, I, I, I need access to a bit of an earlier curve here. We, we still draw into Leviathan, but we do have access to Arachnoid Sentry, which is already... A better case of a hand than what we had before. We're gonna pass here. Man, I, I need a haircut really bad. Oh, we get the Thorns of the Rose. Now, yeah, no reason not to. Everything's easier behind the mask. Okay. For six mana, this region combination, not really expecting too much, so. Is a leap's only purpose to fall. I always go with the photo photosynthesis joke, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, not for once. <laughs> Hope you're proud of me. Uh, yeah. Fun part. I'll take the nine damage. Fun part indeed. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I forgot about Ice Shard for a second. I'm like, in this match, if we're fine. Turns out we aren't. I don't think they're playing Ravenous Flock. It would be very, 
could be very odd, actually. I think, I honestly think this is just a good turn to... to concuss a palm. Oh! Well, okay, so actually... Yeah, what are you gonna do? Could be a Brom there. Regardless, I'm gonna stun. I'm gonna try to apply some pressure here. I have the map. I need the reputation. I could go for a Guile here. I mean, we could be looking at nine damage. I actually legitimately like this. Because as they play another one, we, we make use of our mana. And we threaten 9 damage. Move with Papas! This this is like really, 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 really worth it. Especially with Leviathan in our hand. The bloodier, the better. Do we care? You cannot win. I like this line of play. Underestimate. I dare you. Yasuo is leveled up. Pick on someone your own speed. Let's get a good look at you. Oh, this hurts. Prepare the cargo. Got okay, prepare the cargo. We, we haven't really gotten there to level up Swain because we have not been able to preserve. Right, so he's drawing quite a bit. Getting there. Another another uh, Leviathan here as, as well could be just backbreaking. What will you have? I don't know what to expect here. But I don't feel threatened. I'm just gonna go with this. Destination in sight. I'd never keep my guests waiting. Delicious. It's a lot of damage, we can't take that much. He must have some way to preserve this. Return fire! Down to six is not great, but I've seen worse, right? Yeah. Come back next time. Yeah, I, I, I figured as much. I'm just curious as to what what actually stops 
What actually stops this concussive palm? Though I, I may just want to play it safe here. I have deny backup. You'll live, probably. I am Lord and Master. Where can I find a full body? I don't need to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Do I need to worry about this? Fear the power you do not see. Just play Swain again. We stun him out. Still in Mirage! Double the eye, baby. And we go for the kill. Strength through suffering. <laughs> oh, is that a triple? Wait, wait, okay, okay. I thought it was a triple for a second. For Noxus! Ah, <laughs> uh, you're dead already, Verna. You're tripping. Okay. Aphelios Demacia, but instead of Fiora, which is something that I've seen quite a bit, it's uh, Shivana Aurelian Soul. Not really sure what to expect here. Um, Minotaur Reckoner, Swain. I'm gonna drop both. I'm gonna keep the House Spider and Yasuo in my hand, even though Minotaur Reckoner is a Pretty damn good card in this matchup. We were peaceful once. I want to do my best to actually Rise. be able to effectively apply pressure early on, right? House Spider is a great tool to give me. We will resist. We managed to get one one damage through without trading our 2-2 for their 2-1. Okay, Thorns of the Rose is pretty neat. Double Yasuo means the other one will become Steel Tempest. It's also very nice. We have uh, Deny for a potential Comet or Meteor Shower. Meteor Shower being, being a very good reason for us to not play Yasuo on Curve next turn until they go below 5 mana. The prettier the the thorns. Let's go with that. Who does not know the name Laurent? I go where the road takes me. Some things never dull. Believe or burn. That was a risky attack on my end because he could have had a sharp sight. Can I get away with this turn with only using three mana? Strength and grace, beauty in the play. That's tempting. Very tempting. Wow. Now we're going for the Intimidating Roar. We're able to hit three targets. 
and uh, open up the way for a very nasty attack. As we have uh, Guile as well, but I, I wanted to carry over, I wanted to limit my, my play to 3 mana last turn, because that would allow me to carry over... It's not fucking happening, right? Let's see, another one. Oh. <laughs> I guess he did it. <laughs> Alright, let's go for another one. You did, you did, my boy. Alright, Ionia on Ionia Crime. Yasuo versus Lee Sin. Little girl versus... Old man. As we are going to be very wary of the I. I do like Swain. I don't dislike him. I'm gonna do a full mulligan, though. Um, we're, we're trying to, like, not play into their, my, my, our opponent's counterspell, basically. I'll try to avoid that as much as we can. I think we'll be leading off with the House Spider here. House Spider represents more damage. And I'm going for the Super Cool Start Shard. I'll gladly trade that with that. Looking into the future, I see purple. Mm, this could be a problem. I can always homecoming it. Better than one. Think it fast. Cute. Do -do -do. Go, floaty crystals. <laughs> Want to see these moves up close? Sleep is for the guiltless. We have total send mana, which allows us to do this in Casa Pump. Though I believe uh, Intimidating Roar may actually just be infinitely better if he plays into it. He could. He's not playing into it, which means. Panicking help, brother? What is gained when you return malevolence? Try to keep up. The dragon lives. I see everyone. I'm gonna go for the open attack here. Um, I know Intimidating Roar is very tempting, but I'm, I'm assuming they always have a... I mean, I'm assuming they always have that. Avoid the uh, the level up from Zoe. 
It's fine. Behold the infinite for zero mana. That's a little bit annoying. But we do have to navigate around. This allows me to eliminate this. Puts you at... Um, and then that leaves me over to this. With deny backup, I can deny their deny now. Underestimate. I dare you. Haseki! No one is promised tomorrow. Now who's got the upper hand? I could play the Thorn of the Rose, but he could still have a Nopify. could play Swain, but as long as he has six mana, I won't. All right. The dragon spirit uh, sorry, Leviathan to get Swain. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Let's make this a night to remember. Striking look and stunning whip. We double up on him. Because he has only one mana, he can't nobify this. He also can't, um, unless he has got something for zero mana, he can't protect the sin from double strike there. And next turn we have a total of nine mana, which allows us to intimidate and roar plus deny. Show me that deny. I'll show you mine. This is the most powerful card in the Yasuo deck. Don't don't mistake any other card in the deck. This is the most high impact card. You will see. Okay. Here's our chance. I mean, he needs Overwhelm and three more attack to kill us. And we have Deny for that as well. So we're not going to die to Lisa in this turn. Not by any stretch of the imagination. And uh, we're looking at... Yeah, this Deny is huge. We will be... It seems like we will be losing Yasuo here, though. Center your spirit. Prepare yourself. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. All right, here we go. Open attack. We have deny. Got him. There we go. Nice match. <laughs> Woo! All right. Oh, the, the, no champions. All right, Fiora Shen. This is a, a matchup that's actually very interesting. It should be favored for us because we're able to disrupt their attacks. Um, but we need to draw properly because Fiora is always scary, right? Especially if we don't have the proper answers for her. Um, retreat? 
Retreat seems the. I, I think I definitely want to try it out in this matchup. Fable Twirler. Homecoming is pretty damn good. That's hand. Yeah, this this hand is actually like not bad at all. I think maybe Retreat should should be dropped. I'm gonna drop Homecoming as well. You know what? I'm gonna drop everything that's not Fable Twirler. Even though a, a good portion of this hand is is solid in the early game, I'd rather find other cards like Arachnoid Sentry, Ravenous Flock. Even Thorns of the Rose. Think you're fast? Cute. These woods protect their own. I'm not gonna attack into a potential sharp site. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. But fortunately, our opponent got a little bit nervous there. We need to make use of our opponent uh, believing we have stuff like Arachnoid Sentry in hand uh, to kind of like stall out this game a little bit until we find actual plays because we're drawing horrendously. Like actually horrendously. Fortunately for us, we do have the Cogressive Palm here. Here's our chance. Tales for I walk the space between worlds. I'm gonna try to go for the death hand. Start progressing Swain's level up and, uh, you know, just deal with this because this is gonna be a problem as the match goes on and, and Shen starts doing things. Okay, okay. I could counter that, but I won't. We got a Nobify out of him and that's very important. I find them unworthy. Nature blesses her followers. You cannot win. I could just try to stun this. I have to think here. It's my best line of play because initially, because I could just let this go down and uh, drop a Minotaur Reckoner. He still needs more than just single combats to deal with it. My father's blade. Now we get the Minotaur Reckoner in there. With Deny and Spirit's Refuge back up. As we will be st uh, stunning Sh Shen. Before I can do anything, I'm going to attack with uh, the Minotaur Reckoner. Five cards. It's gonna be tricky. It must be done. Shen's going up. I find them unworthy. Nature. Our wills align. Dare 
I have the ability to counter a rally effect, and I do want to set up Swain here. I have Homecoming as well. The problem here is that I need to buy one more turn, and I don't know if I can do that. What if he has more rally effects? Can I can I afford to actually play around that? Yeah. Balance favors you. Now who's got the upper hand? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, I don't think this is a bad matchup for us, but this this is exactly what I was fearing. We just did not draw the cards we needed. We, we drew a Norak Noise Sentry, uh, no Thorns of the Rose. Those cards, like, are amazing here. No Yasuo. Fla Fae Blade Twirler is arguably, like, the weakest card in our deck in this matchup, and we drew, like, too many copies of her. Yeah, we, we just didn't manage to go off here, unfortunately. No matter what I do here, if I if I if I develop a blocker, I still like I cannot gain health with Spirit's Refuge because of his own barriers. I cry every time. GG. On to the next. Okay, a Swain Mirror. All right. Can Yasuo beat Sejuani? Sejuani? I haven't seen Sejuani Swain in a while. Well, we do have Yasuo this time around, which is really nice. We also have, uh... I don't know how good Intimidating Roar will be. I'm gonna keep it. Like, one of the downsides of Intimidating Roar is that it's not that good if you don't have Yasuo, but we have Yasuo in our opening hand, so by that logic, I will keep it in my hand, because this is like, like I said, this is a very powerful effect. This is the most powerful play Think you're fast? we're Cute. gonna be going for. I also love the fact that we have uh, a Rachnoi Sentry. Surprised we saw a pass there. Follow the wind, but watch your back. A Rachnoi Sentry into Ravenous Flock. I feel like I gotta develop here. Just that much. Now the Ravenous Flocks are enabled. Okay. So he doesn't have Ravenous Flock. Clear my name. I need something that can apply offense. God. Try to keep up. Damn, dude. God damn it, I have nothing. I have nothing. Uh, this is like the most awkward. Like I have all my entire hands reactive, and my opponent won't play units. Thank you, thank you for giving me something to actually stun, man. Oh my god. Underestimate. I dare you. This land is ours. So you have another avalanche. I don't want to play into it. So I'm gonna go with the death's hand here.
play into a dad's hand, but... Getting close to leveling up Swain ourselves. The problem is we just have no proactive plays whatsoever. Like, our entire draws this game have been, like, 100% reactive. It's annoying. It's very annoying. We finally drew a Leviathan. Like, honestly, this game has been really frustrating. It's like, god damn, how, how poorly can I fucking draw, dude? My god. Mistake. Mistake, 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 big mistake. If my opponent goes for an avalanche, I'll get the win. Like, I'm putting in a situation in which... Mm. But if he goes for it afterwards, that's 7, 10 damage. I dare you. I actually mix out on lethal by 1 if he has avalanche, which is hilarious. He could have Avalanche and Ravenous Flock, which would be pretty crazy, considering he... No, that, that, I don't think that's possible. Our spoils will rival the War Mothers. Hear that, Bristle? Varg offers a challenge. Um... Seven? Tear them ten? Apart. That's still lethal. Yeah. Ha! Ha ha ha! Man, frustrating game! Frustrating game. My conflicts end only one way. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. Okay. Do you really wanted to talk there? Um, frustrating game because of the of the nature of the match and more than anything. Uh, my draws weren't that terrible. It's just the fact that I I drew like all of my reactive cards, like oh my concussive palms. You know, like the arachnoid sentries and, 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 and everything, like the death hand. And instead of like drawing, you know, Minotaur Reckoner, I wanted to draw Swain earlier as well. We had to pull him out through the, Le the Leviathan. Uh, Yasuo, uh, which went down early as well, was frustrating. I didn't draw that bad, honestly. Like in hindsight, like my deck is just very reactive, right? But because my opponent was actually doing nothing and I wasn't drawing my denies to stop their AoE, it did feel like I definitely drew very poorly for the matchup, but. In uh, most other cases, that's not a bad hand at all. And ultimately, in the end, we were able to uh, just 
bypass their Swain Leviathan uh, late game. Honestly, I think my opponent misplayed a little bit, to be fair. I, I, I think he left himself um, wide open there. I don't think playing the uh, Tavern Keeper was good there. I think that actually may have cost him the game because I was waiting for the moment in which he could not play the second Swain after I finished the other one, right? And when he gave me that opening, uh, I definitely felt way more comfortable, but it was still a, a pretty tight game, and uh, we definitely showcased the the power of like back to back stuns, you know, even without Yasuo, because Yasuo, like honestly, Yasuo just died. <laughs> he just died again and again in today's video. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of depressing. But we showcased that you know without Yasuo, even the stuns in this deck are a very legit deal as they can allow us to set up some very nasty attacks that can threaten nine or more damage so even then as he did manage to find the blocker for swain that game we were so spread out that it just didn't matter and that's beautiful that's fucking beautiful really solid deck um i wish i could have showcased it against twist of fate fizz but today i don't know people are being less degenerate and that really sucks so i'm gonna end the video there thank you guys for watching stay tuned for daily legends of runeterra content hope you enjoyed yeah uh, my, my voice kind of like pitched there. I don't know why. I'll see you guys tomorrow.